Extreme athletes from all over the world are in the Yukon today for the Yukon Arctic Ultra. 53 participants headed out on the trail this morning, and some won't be back for a while. Cheryl Kawaja has more. There's nothing wimpy about what these athletes are about to do. To just about everyone else, they're extreme, but they don't see it that way. Actually, I feel super lazy because you have these three races, the marathon, the 100 and 300 miles, and I just do the marathon and I just feel like, oh, I'm just doing this short. I've raced in the Sahara and um, in the Alps, so this is the next on the list, really. So, so I had the option of 100 or 300, so obviously, being logical as I am, I went for 300. The race usually starts in Whitehorse, but because of dangerous conditions on the Yukon River, the start line this year is about 30 kilometers north of town. We have about uh, 20 kilometers of trail that goes out. They turn around and come back in. That's the marathon finish. Everybody else then goes out again and they go to the Dawson uh, Overland Trail and uh, on to Dockgrave Lake, Braburn and even further north. That out and back section is more mentally challenging for the racers, but it's just one of many challenges. Some come from much warmer climates. This Irish participant trained by pulling a tire up hills in the rain. And others, like these Italians, are trying to acclimatize quickly. I make the 100 miles, and I'm very scared now. <laughs> I really want it. Where I live, there is the beach, there is and snow. <laughs> Carl McEwen is the only local in the 100 mile category and one of only seven Yukoners in the entire event. And someone asked me if, if I would go and do this race somewhere else, and there's no way I would travel to go and struggle anywhere else. I'm just doing it because it's in my backyard, and it's something that I, my friends have done and I find interesting. So, In all, 53 racers from 11 countries head out on the trail on foot, bike, and skis. For those doing the 100-mile category, it will be at least tomorrow before they finish. And participants going the full 480 kilometers have eight days to complete the race. Cheryl Kawaja, CBC News, Whitehorse.